Janelle, I think, is used to being Queen B, and any kind of female competition, you know, could be perceived as a threat to her. She's been a complete bitch from start to finish. A likable bitch. I get her. A lot of us have something blonde and ugly stuck in our craw. Not ugly on the outside, but it's certainly ugly on the inside. And it's getting bigger by the day. It's not looking good for us today. We're going to take a major, major hit today. Major one. The lines have been drawn. They're on the other side, and I'm coming after them. I really want to take some personal jabs at people, but I don't want to be too rude because these people are going to sequester house. Who knows what can happen? It's no sense of me talking to Janelle before nominations because I threw the first punch and I expect her to throw the second. So if she nominates me, then she nominates me. ceremony everyone um, I would first like to uh, start out by stating that um, I try not to take things personal in this game but you know when people are up in the HOH room and they're pretending to be my friend when they're ready to just back me when they get the chance I take that personal um, and if you're gonna declare war on someone you better finish the battle with that being said I'd like to start the nomination ceremony and pull the first key James, you're safe. Howard, you're safe. Thanks, Janie. Marcellus, you are safe. Thank you, Janelle. Danielle and you Erica for eviction Danielle um, you put me up last week and you were unsuccessful in getting rid of me I had no choice but to put you up. don't take it personally well Erica um, I kind of feel like you've been floating this entire game and playing all sides of the house um, I really enjoy you as a person but I really despise your gameplay okay. with that being said this nomination ceremony is adjourned well, I thought Janelle had a really interesting speech. You know, I think it's fascinating that she despises my gameplay as a bloater. I think she'll be shocked to find out that I'm just a simple girl from a small town named Chill. This was not a hard decision for me at all. I nominated Danielle because she nominated me last week. She tried to get me out of the house and she was unsuccessful, but unfortunately for her, she took out one of my best friends, and um, paybacks are you-know-what. She just basically told me, if you're going to start a war, you need to finish it. Well, it's several stages of war. I mean, we have battles. We lose certain battles, and we win certain battles. So this is one of the battles that I'm going to win. Woo, put them up, Janelle, because let's go. Let's rumble, girl. I'm ready. Let's get it on. I can't wait. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Danielle or Erica from eviction? And will someone win the coup d'etat, earning the power to overthrow the head of household? Find out Tuesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.